Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Aries private eye reading for the upcoming energy of November into December. In this message, Aries, we're first going to tap into the energies here with the Romance Angel deck. We'll get an overview of what's challenging this between you and your person. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy here, Aries. And in this portion of the message, we're going to look into your person's true intentions moving forward, how they're feeling about the challenge at this time, how they're feeling about you in particular, their next move is going to be, and any advice, guidance from spirit. I'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So, Aries, there's a distance here between you and your person. I do feel like this is a new connection here. You're needing to trust your intuition. Trust your gut here, Aries. Your person is still dealing with their ex. They may be trying to release themselves from this person. We'll look a little bit deeper here into the energies. But I do feel like there is a need to pay attention. Be mindful about this connection. You don't have to jump headfirst into every scenario. So let's dive a little bit deeper here into the challenge, Aries. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here are general meaning they're not going to resonate every time it's really about the title there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message if the message does resonate there will be a link below in the description box for the extended version there is also information down there for the ritual kits that are offered personal readings how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings and aries if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's see here, Aries, what we can see for you guys for the upcoming energy of November into December. Wanting the truth here. This person is definitely holding back. This person may have been married to this person in the past here, Aries. And that could be why they're having a difficult time releasing this connection. There may also be some money, money issues, finance, finances that are connected financial problems that this person is enduring. I do feel like this person isn't being forthcoming about this. They aren't being fully honest with you about this past circumstance here, Leo. I mean, Aries, sorry about that, Aries. You could be dealing with a Leo. So Aries, we're going to start with the Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords for your energy. I feel like you want some truth, you want some clarity about the situation here with this person. It's almost as if you want to know which person that they're going to choose. I feel like you do want the truth from this person, but this person isn't coming, coming out with the truth. They're definitely holding back a lot of deceptions, a lot of lies here. Maybe even some manipulation for some of you. Clarify this Page of Pentacles, King of Swords, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. And then we're going to dive into your person's true intentions here because I want to see if they have good intentions or bad intentions. I do feel like there is a level of acceptance that is needed. Aries, this may not exactly be your person. This person may not be meant for you. Okay. So let's dive a little bit deeper into this person's energy here, Aries. 
you guys find this message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel. Getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Aries person's true intentions here. Moving forward, spirit. What does Aries need to see? One more card out here for Aries true and person's true intentions here. I feel like this person is a little bit spiteful. They're ending this. They're putting an end, putting a stop to all of this. This may come as a surprise to you guys, some of you. But I feel here this isn't something that's being spoken on in the present moment. This is something that this person is holding back. So how is this person feeling about the challenge with Aries spirit? This is very draining to them. There's a lot of scattered energy. I feel like this person views you, Aries, as aggressive. Maybe even a little bit controlling. Now, I'm not saying that's true. But I do feel here that they view this as a difficult situation. A difficult scenario. I do feel here, Aries, that they feel like you're not really seeing things clearly. You're causing your own delays. I also feel here that this person feels that you have some sort of resentment towards them, towards the past. Not being able to let go of the past is how they view you. Not being able to move forward as well holding on to all the secrets, all the lies, even if you can't put your finger on it. I do feel here there is a level of deception. A level of deception, a level of lies. So pay attention to that, Aries. What is this person's next move here in the present moment? Please and thank you, Spirit. Aries. I honestly feel here this is this person choosing another person. Choosing to walk away. Putting themselves first. You may have children with this person. The children are distraught. They don't understand this. So I feel here there is a need to connect with the children. There is children involved in the situation, Aries. There is a need to connect with the children reassure them make sure that they're okay I do feel like this person is getting ready to walk away if they haven't already and I feel here that that is something that's going to be spoken on and I don't feel it's going to be in the present moment and I'm just going to be honest with you I feel like this truth this clarity is going to come with time this isn't something that's going to be quick, fast, and in a hurry. This is going to be something that's going to happen over time. Maybe even after a long separation from this person, will you even have an understanding of why things took place? Pull a soul journey message, sum up your reading. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Your soul journey message here, Aries, is freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Your soul is open to receiving new wisdom and insight that will allow you to make the right choice for your own growth. 
Remember that you're never a victim of other people or their circumstance. You have complete control over your own choices. By following your own heart and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world. Making decisions based on other people's expectations is not the true path to happiness. You're responsible for creating your own reality. When a soul shifts to a place of honoring itself in its totality, free from judgment, only then will it find its true freedom. Every soul is unique and follows its own path. Don't give in to peer pressure or the urge to fit in. You are the only one who truly knows the real you. So feel free to march to the beat of your own drum. I do feel like there is an individuality here between you and this person. For at one point, this probably was a very deep connection, a very intense connection, but I feel here at some point, you guys split and went your separate ways and still coming to terms with all of that. There is a need to be honest with oneself and be honest with the other person in the present moment. That is going to start the healing process. A blessing message here, Aries, my healing is already in process. My willingness to forgive begins with he my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. This message was an intense reading. I do feel like you are walking away from something that is no longer serving. Needing to trust your intuition is what's going to be important. If you're interested in the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.